tricky. I got toes to know where to watch to stop this rise, and I'm on the face right with a shotgun. I don't know if it's gonna be, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen quick. But this rise here ain't gonna make it tricky, so we're gonna try to get it on footage, but we ain't letting him get out of here, so we'll see what happens. Got the Ico Tech GC500 out, and the PD200. We'll see if we can call this Cody that's been going down here in this woman's yard. To the left, to the left. Oh, wait for that. That uh, JD's uh, hand call that he recorded on that rabbit in stress. They brought that sucker right out, boy. Pretty good size yoke. Nice. Heck yeah. Well, I'll tell you, that was, uh, that was a quick set. I had a friend approach me, <clears throat> sent me a message, and uh, about a coyote situation. And uh, so we came up here, decided to see if we can kill this coyote. This coyote's been coming up in this woman's yard. You know, I'm sure it's probably the same one, but you know, there's there's so many coyotes it can be a different one. But uh, man, we come up here, got set up on top of the hill, and. Uh, had the sun onto our backs, and we had the sun going this way, facing which way the coyote came. So we was that perfect as far as the set, you know, off in the shade. Had the wind right, but it was starting to swirl right there when we first started. I was like, man, I, said, I don't know about this, but you know, we had thicket over here and some woods over here and this little uh, cow pasture right here. And I said, man, this is about all we got to work with, you know. Mm -hmm put toe to watch the rise where I was hoping that coyote was gonna come and I was gonna watch off the side with a shotgun over here uh, just in case one come out right on top of us but this coyote come out I don't even know how long it was 30 seconds 45 seconds maybe it, it, not not a whole lot more than it was and uh, but uh, had the JD recorded a uh, rabbit hand call and you know in distress and I'm telling you man he brought that coyote right out and, and quick PD 200 was going and that coyote was locked right in. It was looking right at that decoy. And but then he stopped and I said, well, I said, man, we better go ahead and take him in case that wind uh, was gonna get in his get in his face and him take off. But uh we put him down anyway. Put him down. It's a small target facing straight at us, but <laughs> we made it happen. Yeah, you, you sure did put a whack on, that's for sure. But uh yeah, it, I was gonna hopefully he's gonna come right on up in there, but once he stopped us, we'd better go ahead and take him. But GC500 does it again. PD200, I'm telling you, once they come out and they see that decoy, and they get locked in on it. You know, some coyotes come running all the way up to it. You know, and some of them, they'll hang up and look at it. You know, then it might ease on up. But, you know, when that wind's swirling a little bit, and it was going to be close. And one of us probably was out in a little bit of the wide open right there. Uh, but he worked out just right. Greg was back behind the camera. We're putting them down here in Tennessee. We sure are. You guys that are looking for something to do in the off season, you see, you, you need to get these two pieces of equipment right here and a good rifle. You can have fun every day. Every day. Yep. Ico Tech. Dead serious game calls and decoys.